Most drivers trust the dealer's oil recommendation without thinking twice. But here's the part no one tells you. The 0W20 they push so confidently is the same oil many mechanics won't even put in their own engines. And once you understand why, it forces an uncomfortable question. Are you protecting your engine or slowly wearing it out without knowing? In this video, you'll learn why dealers insist on one oil, why mechanics refuse it, and what that difference means for your engine's long-term health. Let's get started. Number 10. Dealers follow EPA paperwork, not engine reality. Most drivers assume dealers recommend 0W20 because engineers said so. But here's the truth. The oil grade in your owner's manual is legally tied to EPA certification paperwork. Once a car is certified with 0W20, changing that grade, even if engineers want to, requires recertifying the entire vehicle, a process that costs millions and takes months. So, dealers stick to the paperwork, not because it's best for your engine, but because it keeps the manufacturer compliant. The problem? Paperwork is built for MPG in a controlled lab. Mechanics deal with real engines in real heat, engines that often run better, cleaner, and longer on 5W30. Take Toyota. In the US, the 2.5 liter is locked to 0W20. In Australia, the Middle East, and Southeast Asia, the same engine runs 5W30, simply because it isn't tied to US certification rules. Dealers aren't making a technical decision, they're following a legal one. And once fuel economy targets enter the picture, things get even thinner, literally. That's where number nine comes in. Number nine, fuel economy targets push oil thinner than engines prefer. If you've ever wondered why 0W20 suddenly became the standard, it wasn't because engines needed it. It was because automakers needed every fraction of a mile per gallon to meet strict EPA and CAFE fuel economy targets. And here's what dealers never mention. 0W20 doesn't protect better. It simply reduces internal drag enough to bump MPG during government test cycles. That tiny improvement, sometimes only half a mile per gallon, is worth millions in avoided fines. But there's a catch. Ultra-thin oils like 0W20 shear faster under heat, lose viscosity sooner, and provide a weaker protective film than 5W30. So the same oil that helps manufacturers pass a lab test can leave your engine more vulnerable in real-world driving, especially in hot states, long commutes, towing, or high-speed travel. You see it industry-wide. Toyota, Honda, Nissan, Mazda, they all adopted thinner oils as cafe rules tightened. But overseas, where fuel economy pressure isn't as aggressive, the same engines keep their 5W30 recommendation. Dealers push the oil that helps the manufacturer's scorecard, not the oil that necessarily helps your engine. And once an engine starts aging and tolerances open up, that difference becomes impossible to ignore. That's where number eight becomes a game changer. Number eight, engines age, but dealer recommendations never do. Dealers treat every engine like it's still fresh off the assembly line, but mechanics know engines don't stay factory tight forever. As mileage climbs, bearing clearances widen, piston rings loosen, and internal temperatures rise. That microscopic wear changes how oil behaves, and it changes which viscosity actually protects the engine. Here's the part most drivers never hear. Dealers never adjust oil recommendations for age. If the car left the factory with 0W20, they'll keep pouring 0W20 at 80,000 miles, 120,000 miles, even 200,000 miles, no matter how much the engine has changed. Mechanics see the reality every day. Engines start burning more oil, cold starts get noisier, thin oil shears under load, and used oil analysis shows wear metals climbing. And one simple adjustment consistently helps, stepping up to 5W30 once an engine has meaningful mileage behind it. It's not theory, it's physics. A worn engine needs a stronger oil film to maintain pressure and prevent metal-to-metal -metal contact. Ultra-thin 0W20 simply can't provide that once clearances open up. Dealers follow the spec on paper. Mechanics follow the engine in front of them. And there's another reason dealers keep pushing 0W20, one that has nothing to do with engine performance and everything to do with how dealerships operate behind the scenes. That's number seven. 
Number seven, dealerships simplify inventory, even if it oversimplifies your engine. Most drivers never think about this. Dealerships aren't built around what's ideal for every engine. They're built around efficiency, and that efficiency usually comes down to one thing, stocking as few oil types as possible. Most large dealerships have massive bulk tanks of 0W20. It's cheap, it pumps fast, it simplifies inventory, and the entire workflow is built around it. Once that system is in place, everything follows. Technicians are trained to use it, service advisors are told to recommend it, and invoices are pre-written with it. So even if your engine would clearly run better on 5W30, the dealership isn't structured to have that discussion. Their system is designed for convenience, not customization. Independent mechanics operate differently. They're not tied to a bulk tank or a corporate script. They choose the oil that fits the engine, the mileage, the climate, and the way the car is actually driven. Here's the bottom line. Dealerships push the oil that keeps their operation fast and consistent. Mechanics choose the oil that keeps your engine alive. But convenience isn't the only force behind 0W20. There's a deeper industry incentive one that virtually guarantees dealerships will never recommend a thicker oil, even when it's clearly better for your engine. That's number six. Number six, thinner oil protects the manufacturer more than it protects your engine. There's a reason dealerships almost never recommend switching to 5W30, even when your engine would clearly benefit. And it has nothing to do with performance. It has everything to do with liability. Manufacturers want one thing, full control over warranty claims. The easiest way to protect that control is to keep every driver on the exact oil grade printed in the manual. If a dealer recommends anything else, even if it's safe, even if it's used overseas in the same engine, the manufacturer suddenly takes on more risk. That's why service advisors stick with 0W20. It protects the company's legal position far more than it protects your engine. Independent mechanics don't answer to a warranty department. They look at heat load, driving style, oil consumption, and wear patterns. And if the engine needs a stronger oil film, they switch to 5W30 without hesitation. Here's the uncomfortable truth. The oil dealer's push is designed to protect the warranty system. The oil mechanics prefer is designed to protect the engine. And once temperature enters the picture, especially the brutal heat in states like Texas, Arizona, or Florida, that difference becomes even more obvious. That's where number five changes everything. Number five, zero W20 struggles where most Americans actually drive. Dealers love to talk about cold start protection, as if every driver lives in a frozen wasteland. But here's the irony. Most Americans don't battle brutal winters. They battle brutal summers. Engines aren't failing at 10 degrees, they're failing at 210. In hot states, real-world oil temperatures regularly climb past 230, even 240 degrees during rush hour traffic. That's where ultra-thin oils like 0W20 start to fall apart. They shear faster, thin out under load, and leave a weaker film between metal surfaces. And once that film collapses, wear accelerates quietly. Mechanics see the same pattern over and over. Engines burning more oil, valve trains getting noisier, Varnish forming long before the odometer hits six figures. Switch those same engines to 5W30 and the symptoms fade. Oil consumption drops, heat stability improves, and wear metals fall on lab tests. Dealers won't tell you this, but overseas, Toyota, Honda, Nissan, and Mazda all recommend thicker oils in hot regions like Australia and the Middle East for the exact same engines sold in the US. Bottom line. 0W20 was chosen for cold starts and fuel economy. Most drivers need protection in summer, not winter. And once you look inside these engines and see how oil actually behaves under pressure, the story gets even more revealing. That's number four. Number four, high temperature film strength, where 5W30 simply outperforms 0W20. If you could shrink yourself down and sit inside an engine at operating temperature, you'd see something dealers never mention. Oil isn't just lubrication. It's a microscopic film that keeps metal from grinding against metal when combustion pressures spike. And in that moment, thickness matters. On paper, 0W20 and 5W30 look similar. But once the engine heats up, load increases and RPM climbs, the real separation starts. 
5W30 maintains a stronger, more stable film. It resists shearing, clings to bearings, and protects under pressure. 0W20 thins out much faster, especially in engines that generate a lot of heat or boost. Mechanics see the consequences every day. Engines on 0W20 show higher wear metals in oil analysis, develop varnish on cam caps, and burn more oil between changes. The same engines on 5W30 stay cleaner, quieter, and show noticeably lower wear because the oil isn't collapsing under heat. Here's the bottom line. When the engine gets hot, 5W30 doesn't just perform better. It performs the way the engine actually needs. But film strength is only half the story. The real divide between dealers and mechanics isn't just how the oil behaves. It's how you drive in the real world. And that's where number three exposes something dealerships never talk about. Number three, real driving conditions don't match the lab tests dealers follow. Dealers base their oil recommendations on controlled, government-approved test cycles. Mechanics base theirs on the chaos of real roads. And those two worlds couldn't be more different. In the EPA lab, cars run at gentle speeds, predictable loads, mild temperatures, and perfectly timed shifts. There's no towing, no stop-and-go traffic, no five-mile commutes where the engine never warms up, no triple-digit heat baking the oil until it thins into water. But that's exactly how people drive in the real world. Short trips that cause fuel dilution, long idles that overheat thin oils, highway runs that push temperatures far beyond what 0W20 can comfortably handle. And in all those conditions, mechanics see the same pattern. Engines on 0W20 wear faster, burn more oil, and develop varnish sooner than the same engines running 5W30. Dealers aren't lying, they're just following lab data that never reflected your driving style. Mechanics see the aftermath of real heat, real load, and real mileage, which is why their recommendations shift toward thicker, more stable oils once cars leave that perfect test environment. Here's the key point. Dealers follow the test cycle. Mechanics follow the cycle of your daily life. And even when engines are driven gently, oil chemistry plays a massive role in whether that engine survives long-term. The real difference between 0W20 and 5W30 goes far beyond the numbers on the bottle. That's number two. Number two, additive packages matter more than dealers admit. There's something most drivers never hear at the dealership. The number on the bottle isn't the full story. Two oils can share the same viscosity and still perform completely differently because real protection comes from the additive package blended into the base oil. Dealers almost never mention this. They treat 0W20 like a universal cure-all, as if every bottle is identical. Mechanics know better. They see some 0W20 oils shear quickly, form varnish, and lose detergency long before the next change. Meanwhile, a high-quality 5W30 synthetic with stronger anti-wear additives, better detergents, and better heat stability can keep the same engine cleaner and quieter for twice as long. That's why independent mechanics pick oils based on formulation first and viscosity second. They look for high temperature stability, solid detergents, and resistance to fuel dilution. All things that matter far more once an engine has real mileage and real heat cycles. Dealers, they stick to whatever bulk oil contract the manufacturer negotiated. It's about consistency, not optimization. The bottom line? The oil that protects your engine best isn't always the one printed in the manual. It's the one with chemistry that matches your driving reality. And that brings us to the biggest reveal of all. The reason mechanics overwhelmingly prefer 5W30 in their own cars. And the reason dealers almost never admit it. That's number one. Number one, mechanics don't use 0W20 in their own cars. Here's the truth most dealerships will never say out loud. The people who actually work on engines, the ones who see worn bearings, varnished cams, and heat-soaked oil every single day, almost never run 0W20 in their own cars. When it's their engine, their money, their long-term reliability, they choose 5W30. Ask independent mechanics, ask dealership techs off the record, ask retired service managers with no corporate script. The pattern is always the same. They pour 5W30 because it holds up better under heat, protects under load, maintains pressure as engines age, and keeps wear metals lower over time. It's the oil that matches the engine's reality, not the manufacturer's fuel economy paperwork. 
One Toyota Master Tech put it perfectly. We put 0W20 in customer cars because that's what's on the invoice. But in my own engine, it's 5W30 every time. That's the heart of the debate. Dealers push the oil that works for the system. Mechanics choose the oil that works for the engine. And when the people who fix engines consistently pick one oil, while the people who follow policy push another, that should tell you everything you need to know. The best part? Choosing the right oil costs almost nothing, but it can save your engine thousands. So here's the big picture. Dealers push 0W20 because it keeps their paperwork clean, their inventory simple, and their manufacturer happy. But mechanics? The people who actually tear down engines and see what oil looks like after real heat and real mileage? Choose 5W30 because it protects better, lasts longer, and keeps engines healthier as they age. One oil works for the system, the other oil works for your engine. Now you know the difference, and you can choose the oil that actually matches your driving, your climate, and your long-term reliability. If you want more no-nonsense car advice that protects your wallet, make sure you subscribe and check out my next video. It breaks down the maintenance myths that cost drivers the most money, and the one habit mechanics swear by that almost nobody follows. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.